Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for being with me. I want to track what to expect as we get into April. A lot of us need some rain. Of course we do fill up the cisterns. Uh, we're watching uh, the rivers that are very low. We, we just need some drinking water in many spots and we need it for agricultural purposes as well. Now I want to look ahead to also when we could get some rain because April is going to be too dry for many of us in some spots. Once again, we expect it to be dry at times this time of year, but it's going to be even below average. Here's the big picture. Now, when I show you these maps, okay, where you see the green, that's not just a, a chance of rain as we go through the month of April. April, That's an above average chance. That's some good news. Where you see kind of this yellow shading or nothing at all, that's either average, which would mainly be dry this time of year, or below average rain. So let me zoom down and I'll take you around through the Caribbean, swing you up toward uh, the U.S. I want to break down a system moving into Canada as well in a moment. Now, this is for the month of April. We're going to see a higher chance of rain across the southeast U.S. that could clip by the northern Bahamas, but much of the Caribbean as a whole will be uh, dry, kind of hanging out of dry weather. Northeastern Caribbean, we may have a little more rain than average, and we've been starting to see a hint of that over the last week or two, even toward Guyana and Suriname. I expect not just some rain around, but an above average chance. So there's some good news for some of us out of this, and even over toward Panama, and Costa Rica, Panama Canal, which those levels have been too low, uh, we're going to see wetter than average weather moving in, but drier than average again. Texas back toward Mexico. That's not good at all. Northeast of Mexico and the parts of Texas have been hit so hard with the dry conditions, not just the last few months or year, but the last uh, few years in some spots. So this is kind of the breakdown. Cuba will be drier than average. Same thing, Cayman Islands and uh, back toward uh, parts of Central America, watching Belize over toward the Yucatan, back through uh, Honduras. Now, uh, as we get into May, I want to pass along some good news for some of the dry spots. Looking way ahead to May, uh, you can see above average rain working into much of the Caribbean. Still not for all of us, but that is some good news. So if we're looking to find some hope in the forecast, May would be the month. Now, forecasting the weather is difficult just over a couple day period, right? Uh, so we're looking into May and you're like, how the heck could this be possible? Well, it's not too hard to see kind of long-term trends. This isn't hourly forecasting or day-to-day -day stuff. You get a kind of a feel. It's a, it, it does, a, it's kind of a, it does a good job. Our computer models do a good job looking out in time to give us kind of a feel of the temperatures and the feel of some of the rain. So this is going to be pretty accurate. Uh, back toward Florida and the Bahamas, drier than average in May. Uh, back through much of the Caribbean, though, not only are we going to see some wet weather, but in May it should be above average, which will be a concern for some flooding and the possibility of some tropical weather. I'm talking the possibility of tropical depressions or even tropical storms. I want to touch on that in a second. Let me swing back toward the U.S. for the uh, month of April. So switching back toward April, I mentioned the southeast U.S., above average rain, southern Canada into the Great Lakes, over toward the Great Lakes uh, region of the U.S. and back toward the Pacific uh, Northwest of the U.S. and even into uh, parts of Canada here below average. There's that below average marker from uh, Texas back toward Mexico. And this will correspond to the temperatures as well. Where we have some extra rain, usually that means uh, we're not quite as warm. Where we're drier, we're going to have above average temperatures. Same thing in the Caribbean. The month of April, since we're going to be drier than average, we're also going to be hotter than average. So giving you a feel there. Now back to the tropics because this is going to tie in pretty soon. We're two months away from the start of the hurricane season. It doesn't start to June 1st, but I do believe this season it is going to be uh, more active earlier. So even before June 1st, there could be a couple named systems. That's a possibility. Now in March, usually it's, it's super quiet. Only one named system, which did impact the Caribbean back in 1908. But in April, there's seven named systems on record. And of course, uh, we didn't have satellites way back when. We've missed some of those, of course. May, 50 named storms on record. Now, uh, it, it, so May, things could start to pick up leading into the hurricane season. And this year, I do believe that's going to happen. Water temperatures are very warm. And I just showed you above average rainfall in May. So we're going to have a couple systems to at least keep an eye on. But hopefully it's good news. Hopefully, you know, there's no big hurricane in May. Hopefully it's uh, uh, maybe a tropical depression or just some kind of sloppy tropical wave that brings us some good news in the form of some rain. Tropical weather, not all bad news. Now, getting into the heart of hurricane season, 
Again, June 1st, it starts. August, September, and October, that's when we really get into the peak of the season. And yeah, it's going to be an above average season, uh, but I don't say that in an alarming way. We need to see where the storms go. There's no telling if a storm's gonna hit us or miss us. So we'll just see how we go as we go throughout the uh, upcoming season. Getting a look at the names this year, Alberto is the first name, Beryl, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, and Gordon after that. Helene on the map. Hopefully we don't get too far down the road, but I do believe, uh, as I was mentioning in other videos, we're in a La Nina period, or about to get into a La Nina cycle, which usually means more tropical weather out there, but it doesn't tell us what's gonna hit an island, uh, what's gonna hit us or not hit us. If there's a million storms and they stay out to sea, that's some good news. So a wait and see on that. Now the bigger picture, we've got a system. Look at that, I wanna zoom down into that in a second. Moving from New England up into Canada, and we have the uh, tail end of that front right here, moving through the Caribbean and another system that's rolled in to the Western US. You see some of this cloud cover here, stretching near the Turks and Caicos back toward Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, not a lot of clouds, Back toward Honduras and Belize. That's the tail end of the front that we've been tracking. We did have a shower in parts of Trinidad yesterday. A little more moisture has been around as a whole because it's really down toward Guyana and Suriname. I'm hoping some of that could kind of feed up to the north because we need some rain in uh, Trinidad. But you see today Honduras, some scattered showers. May clip us by Cayman Islands, Jamaica. Not a lot though. This is just kind of a fizzling front. But down toward the uh, Turks and Caicos. Uh, eastern Cuba, we could get a couple showers. Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Not many. Elsewhere, it's body, but Guyana and Suriname, the rain chance will be elevated. Keep me posted in the comments if you get some rain or don't as we go through the weekend. Tomorrow, slightly better chance, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Again, no washout, but we'll see a few isolated showers in spots. Let me know throughout the weekend. I'll be watching the comments if you do get a couple showers. Honduras, we could still get one or two over toward uh, San Andres, uh, possibility of uh, one or two. And then as we work our way into Sunday, the rest of that front just kind of fizzles out. Isolated shower Sunday, of course, being Easter Sunday. Uh, sunrise services look uh, very good. The early morning uh, church services in good shape on Easter. An isolated passing shower as we get into Easter. And I do hope you have a very, very good uh, Easter ahead. Now, we get a look at this system here. I'm going to zoom down into that. This is that uh, bigger system. Just to show you the stretch of this, there's the front. There's some of the extra rain down toward uh, Suriname. And here comes that next system as we get back toward the United States. So this is today taking you out time before I uh, zoom down. We'll go from Friday into Saturday and this system here just kind of winds up and lifts up to the north and we just get that tail end of the front right there. So you see again an isolated chance of a shower. Next system rolling into parts of California. Flooding uh, will be a possibility and higher terrain snow. Watching that system there. There's the one over toward Canada. Little system here toward the Great Lakes back toward the mid-Atlantic uh, working in with that chance of some shower. So this is our Saturday and then as as we go from Saturday into Sunday being Easter, you see here, again, that system in Canada tries to depart isolated shower for us in the uh, Caribbean. Little more rain uh, near parts of the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic and the higher terrain getting some of that snow here as that system works in on uh, Sunday across the uh, Western US. Here's that closer look. Now this system trying to depart New England later today, still by five o'clock though, parts of Maine. We're going to see that uh, backside draw in some of the colder air turning some of this over to some snow. Same thing over toward parts of New Brunswick. So we'll just call it a sloppy day. Uh, you know how it goes in the Atlantic region of Canada. Uh, it's very tricky uh, with the, the uh, water around as far as uh, forecasting. A lot of us get some rain, but some of us on the back edge will get a little snow. Now on Saturday, this system tries to lift to the north and off to the east, watching a uh, Newfoundland where we'll see that chance of some rain could get a little bit of a mix as well. And this is as we work our way into Easter. Easter mainly dry, but the system kind of lingers in our eastern zones. And then watching a few more showers here, you see over towards Chicago, Indianapolis, and Pittsburgh, a couple of those showers with a weaker system that will eventually push off toward the east. So Jamaica, you see how the rain chance bumps up a touch with the tail end of the front? So a 20, 30% chance, not a lot, but an isolated chance of a shower. Same thing, Cayman Islands, just a slight bump 
in the rain chance. Passing shower possible and a slight bump as well. Trinidad and Tobago, unfortunately, most of the rain stays just down to the south, but a slightly better chance of a passing shower. Barbados, 20% chance throughout uh, the uh, weekend, 20% chance in St. Lucia on Easter, and we're looking at a 10% chance in Grenada, mainly on the dry side, mainly dry again. St. Vincent and the Grenadines as we swing through the weekend. Martinique, even as we get through Dominica and uh, work our way back toward Guadeloupe, the rain chance stays limited, a 10 to 20% chance. Same thing, Antigua and Barbuda, it would be a passing shower, rain chance 20% on Easter, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, so uh, one or two of us could get a couple of uh, showers, 10 to 20% chance, Anguilla and St. Bart, same thing as we get towards St. Martin, Sabin, and Stacia right through our weekend. Rain chance 30% though in Puerto Rico on Easter Sunday. That's with that front around. So again, I showed you on the model, a slightly better chance of a shower, same thing, US and British Virgin Islands on Sunday. Dominican Republic. Rain chance bumps up tomorrow with that front around. Mainly dry in Haiti. We may catch a shower tomorrow, at least a couple sprinkles. It's going to be on the, the hot side. Bahamas, we are looking good as we swing through the weekend. Turks and Caicos, same thing. Uh, could see an isolated shower. Cuba, we're mainly dry again. Eastern end, better chance of a shower with that front. Belize on Sunday on Easter, uh, slight chance of a shower. Same thing over toward the Yucatan, but the rain chance is not too high. We get back toward Aruba, Curacao, in Bonaire, as you would expect this time of year. We're mainly on the uh, dry side. 10 to 20% chances to get toward Bermuda, still the higher seas. Costa Rica, Panama, rain chance about 20%. And as we work our way toward Guyana and Suriname, the rain chance is higher. You can see again, we're going to see some scattered showers, even some thunderstorms. Could lead to some isolated flooding in some spots. Northern Venezuela, 20% chance by the time we hit Easter. So April, overall drier and hotter than average. May, we get that better chance of rain. Watching those tropics now going forward to see if anything does try to uh, spin up, especially as we work our way closer to May. An early season system is definitely likely just with everything we're seeing, all the ingredients out there this time of year. Not that something's going to hit us. It could actually be good news and bring us some rain. The official start of the hurricane season is June 1st. So thank you for joining me as we go over the uh, next uh, few uh, holy days, or even if you don't uh, celebrate Celebrate those always thinking of you and those that uh, celebrate Easter. I hope you have a very happy Easter.